Bye, Rahul, and thanks a lot for your time. Thank you, sir. Uh, my okay. pleasure. Okay, and Rahul, this interaction is uh, you know, what we are going to do now is very important and very relevant at this moment uh, because you know there are so many students in India, as you are already aware, who are uh, very capable in their own uh, subjects. Like their technical uh, knowledge, technical level is very good. If I talk about uh, B Tech people, if I talk about M Tech people, they are very good in their respective areas. But when and they also want to study in America, they also want to study in the US, you're already there and they want to also join those universities. But you know, one thing which stops them when I keep on interacting, I was in uh, recently, I was uh, going to various colleges in, uh, in, in, in around Hyderabad, and I interacted with many students of IIT Hyderabad also. So one thing which stops them from exploring these options is the fear of exams like GRE, TOEFL, IELTS. Because we should know that our system of education is that we do not focus on English long back. I mean, 11, 12, we are focusing on science and all. So they fear GRE and TOEFL. And if uh, they get to know that, okay, on the basis of your technical knowledge, your projects or something, uh, and your uh, software skills, which you have acquired, you can get admission in US you know, in PhD programs and all, and your GRE TOEFL can be waived off, they'll be very happy. This session is about that. So my question to you first is, is it possible that they can get admission without this? And if they are even to write GRE, how difficult is that? Mm, so first of all, if, if they want to write GRE, how difficult is that? I'll answer this question first. Yes. So uh, GRE, I was also preparing. Uh, when I was preparing, I took too much time in that because there was no guidance at that time. So mm -hmm. I observed one thing in GRE. If you prepare by yourself, it will take so long. So in GRE, if you want to prepare, maths is very easy. Con section is very easy in GRE. But English, first 15 to 20 days, just students have to understand the tricks. Every question have a trick in GRE exam. If you understand that in 15, 20 days, and another 15, 20 days, if you self-prepare all the different type of questions, GRE is not a, a very difficult exam. 320 is very, very easy that. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, like when students start preparing by themselves, it, gen it usually takes some time for mm -hmm. them to understand mm -hmm. these things. Mm -hmm. uh, now the thing is, like today is 12th November, so students generally don't have much time because most of the deadlines are 1st December or uh, 15th. Uh, December, so they have to send a lot of emails, prepare SOP in this month. So one thing I observed after coming here, uh, in this stage of time, mm -hmm. in the month of November, students can bargain with the professors, like the uh, professors can wave off this GRE exam for them. Mm -hmm. So uh, for PhD, professors are never interested in GRE scores. GRE is the least important. So don't think PhD is good GRE score. PhD is all about your research background, uh, what research experience you have. So something like that, if you have software, hardware skills so that is what professors are looking for so last year i observed in your pdf many students they wrote emails to the professor and professor told them to apply then they uh, send one more email to the professor i'm ready to apply i want to work with you but the only problem is i don't have time to write gr exam uh, so you can say like i'm in masters my project is on high priority so i can't write gr at this moment Mm -hmm. uh, so the thing is, professors also want student, mm -hmm. and uh, it's hectic for them also. It's not only for uh, students; it's hectic for professors also to find good students. So you can bargain at this stage. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly, professor will tell, "Okay, I'll go and talk to university, and I'll give off your GRE exam." So in this way, in these months, you can always bargain with the professor. Mm -hmm. This is about GRE. Other is TOEFL IELTS. So mostly I think students don't know. Uh, in US, uh, Indian education system has very high priority. So if you are saying to the university, like, uh, I did my high school, I did my bachelor's, master's, all in English medium. So usually they wave off this TOEFL IELTS or English requirement uh, exam and in visa also you don't need this english proficiency exam so i know some students who waived off gre as well as tarfel and got very very good universities like top 20 universities in us so this is pretty much possible i would say
so that means this november rush i mean in november and as you said 15th december is the last date so if some student uh, is finding uh, appropriate position or a professor and professor also identifies the oh, he's the student for me then he may waive off your gra requirements that can become very good right yes. so this is this is the time <clears throat> so sending emails are very very important at this stage Mm -hmm. uh, generally, what students make mistake, they are focusing more on GRE and TOEFL, but that is not the number one thing for PhD. You have to send more and more emails. Mm -hmm. So uh, during my time, I sent 500 emails. I got some 10 replies. Some mm -hmm. replies I got like they don't have vacancy. Your profile is not good. Uh, don't get demotivated. Mm -hmm. Just send more and more emails in 500 you will get five to six uh, these type of responses where uh, professor has vacancy your profile is good mm -hmm. take a call shortest five to six universities mm -hmm. apply there mm -hmm. like surely students will get four to five selection and it doesn't depend on MIT IIT I know many students who are coming from state universities from India and they are getting very good selections. So sending emails are more important at this stage, bargain with professor and don't write GRE if you don't want to. Hmm. Okay, wonderful. So I now summarize this entire session Rahul with a uh, couple of points. Number point number one, this is the time uh, when you should apply because last dates are 15 December. And uh, if you mail the professor, mailing the professor is very, very important thing. If you mail the professor, he likes you and then he will uh, you know uh, even wave off your requirements of the gre that is the thing second is gre otherwise is not very difficult but if you get a right place then you can approach the professor so mailing the professor is one activity you should do and uh, less time is left but still this is the most probable time of your selection you should uh, take the initiative and you should try to apply it so rahul uh, with this we come to an end of this session and i'll keep on catching you every week so that we provide one information or the other to the students thank you rahul thank you sir